1600. As a young man, he sailed abroad to Spain, England, and America, and became a skilled pilot. He worked as a cartographer and naval captain for the kings of France and Portugal. In 1635, while in Goa, he took counsel with his spiritual director, Father Philip of the Most Holy Trinity, and consequently joined the Descalz Carmelites. He made his profession on December 25, 1636, with the name of Dionysius of the Nativity. He was ordained a priest on August 24, 1638. According to the testimony of the same Father Philip, he was an example of virtue to all the religious, both in the novitiate and after his profession. The other brother, Redemptus, was born Thomas Rodrigues de Cunha in Portugal on 15th March 1598, and made his own profession as a lay brother. In 1615, in the same house, taking the name of Redemptus of the Cross, his earlier career was into the military service in India and in Goa. He accompanied the Viceroy Juan Coutinho, Count of Redondo, to India. He distinguished himself for bravery and had become the captain of the guards in Mylapore. He became acquainted with the Carmelites in Tata in Sindh, and later. Evinced to desire to join them as a non-cleric. Shortly after the ordination of Father Dionysius, the Portuguese ambassador to the Sultan of Aachen wanted him to join him as a spiritual guide as well as a maritime expert. Brother Redemptus was sent by the superiors of the order to accompany Father Dionysius as part of an ambassadorial. Mission from the Portuguese Empire to the Sultan of Aachen. The mission was led by Don Francisco Souza de Castro as ambassador. Father Dionysius, in turn, took as companion Brother Redemptus, and the two left Goa with the delegation on September twenty fifth, sixteen thirty eight, and after a successful voyage, arrived at Aachen on October twenty fifth. However, the Sultan of Aachen. imprisoned them suspecting them to be invaders they were tormented and persecuted and tried mightily to convince them to renounce their catholic faith and become muslims while in prison father dinesius deprived himself even of basic necessities in his charity for others and strengthened them by his words his help and his example when they refused to become muslims they had to suffer a cruel death for their christian faith on november 29th 1638 brother redemptus who was first to die was shot with arrows and his throat was slit while father dinesius with a crucifix in hand received a fatal blow to the head from a scimitar sword that split his head into two they were beatified by pope leo the 13th on 10th june 1900 In this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray that we might grow in holiness like our martyrs and spread the fragrance of love, peace, and joy wherever we go. Kindly rise. I will never forget you, O oh my people. On the day of anguish, I will answer you. As you join in celebration, my joy will move among you. Be glad, O people of the earth! Lift up your heart in song and dance, for I am with you, as within you, forever. to you all good morning, good morning. welcome in this holy holy place and welcome to old goa 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we have just heard the brief history of the martyrdom of these great blessed Danis and Redemptors. They lived their life for Christ. Once they accepted the faith, they were so faithful, and once they accepted their religious life, commitment, they were ready to do anything for Christ. We also have accepted faith. We also have accepted Christ in our life. Although we were baptized when we were very young, as we grew, we have accepted Christ as our Savior. It is time for us to examine our conscience, our life, and to find out to what extent are we ready to go to live our faith? Are we ready to die for Christ as these people mm -hmm. did? Many times we waver in our faith. When not only the storms, even a little powerful wind comes we shake, we are getting disturbed, upset, and when we almost lose our faith, our faith becomes shaky. For this type of life that we have lived, let us ask God to forgive us. And let us ask through the intercession of Blessed Dennis and Demtus that our faith may be strengthened in Jesus that we may be staunched Catholics, followers of Jesus, to the end. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord God have 
heavenly King. O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and honor, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to be. of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Keep a moment of silence and let us pray for all the souls, the people who lived here, the Carmelites, that they may be granted eternal life. Let us also pray for all the Carmelite fathers, brothers, all over the world. We also pray that God may make it possible in the future to build a community here on this place. Father, we celebrate the memory of Blessed Dennis and Redemptus, who died for the faith to witnessing Christ. Give us the strength to follow the example to the and loyal and faithful to the end. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by faith, we are judged righteous and at peace with God, since it is by faith and through Jesus that we have entered this state of grace, in which we can boast about looking forward to God's glory. 
But that is not all we can boast about. We can boast about our sufferings. These sufferings bring peace, as we know, and patience brings perseverance, and perseverance brings hope. And this hope is not deceptive because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reproached for the name of Christ, count yourself blessed, for then the Spirit of God rests upon you. According to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you most solemnly, unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, 
it remains only a single grain but if it dies it yields a rich harvest anyone who loves his life loses it anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life if a man serves me he must follow me wherever i am my servant will be there too if anyone serves me my father will honor him the gospel of the lord My dear sisters and brothers many of us may not have the experience of farming maybe a little bit of kitchen garden and garden uh, at the house but not really we full time farmers because we have other work to do and when jesus speaks about the seed the farming even though we we ourselves are not farming but we can still understand what it means jesus is speaking about the seed in the gospel today when the seed falls on the ground it is sowed it does not speak about a wild seed falling accidentally he speaks about a farmer sowing the seeds because in the gospels we see a number of times Jesus speaks about this example of seeds the farmer the sower and the farmer knows what type of soil is needed for a particular plant to come up and to grow we can maybe identify certain levels of soil in the ground that is at the first level we see the loose soil here then if we go a little deeper we get a soil that is little strong but still loose not as loose as the top portion layer but little loose then the second third level if we go we will see we will find soil that is hard we dig deeper the third level we will see little hard soil and then still deeper if we go and digging we will find a rocky soil so four levels of soil we can identify in on the ground we are not straight away the farmer or any people or any person who wants to plant a tree or a plant does not directly go to the rocky soil digs at the fourth level and then plant the plant they dig at the top level we the second or so and these farmers when they sow paddy and all they 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 sow at the loose level then what afterwards the roots becomes goes deep go deeper and deeper till they reach to the rocky ground only then the plants can can withstand all the storms all the breezes everything so this is the this is the level that we can, we have to reach in our faith when our faith is uh, given to us it is at the soil level, top level 
it is then up to us each faithful to deepen our faith in the rocky ground that is rock is jesus but many many times we find people at the top level and then they give up what happens at the top level is so many people walk over it there is suffering for the seed if you just put a seed here on the loose soil and we trample and we walk around children play and the seed must be suffering there it's a light suffering actually but many many times our faith is such that with little sufferings with little persecution for the faith with little sickness with little problems we then lose our faith in god maybe we we try to complain about our and then try to justify you know re- uh, argue with god uh, that we have done so much and still we are suffering god is not helping us this type of complaining we have so that's why the first reading tells us today saint paul nicely puts it how our faith must go deeper and deeper in order to experience the true salvation brought by jesus and to be true followers of jesus we cannot follow jesus at the loose level loose soil level jesus is deep we need to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the life of jesus so he says faith is like a seed in the first reading of today the first level of soil we can compare is the loose level that is the suffering level so he says when we are when we are suffering and when we endure the suffering brings us endurance when when our faith suffers or because of the faith we suffer we are made to suffer we are forced to suffer we are put in a situation where we have to suffer for the faith then and we are strong enough to bear that suffering the tribulations then we endure through the endurance of this suffering that is the second level we go deeper and we get peace peace does not come by just pretending to be peaceful peace comes being with god being justified being real after having realized what we are the true self of our self is discovered at that level we are not the people we are our life is not the life that we live now or we, pres- we 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 perceive our life the way it is that's why jesus says you have to die for yourself now how can jesus tell somebody to die is he asking us to commit suicide no he he himself says i have the power to to give my life and to take my life back is he committing suicide does is he referring to suicide no but what he is referring is to that we have to die of false self the false image that we have about ourselves and only after having put ourselves into that situation after having died for that false image we come to realize our true image our true self if we if we if we consider all this all the things that we do all the things that we talk about about ourselves and our, 
what we are talking about is not our true self deep within we are mostly focusing about ourselves at the superficial level about our worldly ways of dealing with our bodily either our bodily things bodily needs requirements or the pursuit of our intellect the desires the of our of, of what we want to become all these things are not the true self that we have to oh, pursue that is what jesus wants to tell us the true self is the li likeness and image of god that is deep within us where it is we will find it only when we go deeper so after the faith has to go deeper and deeper into the soil soil of our life to find the core of our being the true image and likeness of god in us this is not the true image and likeness of god in us that means there would be so many gods here so many types of facial this thing and then height and weight and all these things are there we are not talking about this image and likeness of god but in each one of us there is image and likeness of god that is deep within that we need to go and we have to die for this self we have to just uh, go beyond this self in order to reach to that so we have to go deeper into christ when jesus says i am the life that is what it is when i say i am but this is my life i i offer i refer to uh, uh, the whole self of course the spiritual the divine image as well as the the bodily but we more focus on the external than the true self that's why jesus says unless a man dies for him dies or hates his life in this sense it is hates the worldly life that he considers himself as this is my his life this is what he is he has to undo this in order to reach to the true life in christ so that is the fourth level the deeper level there we have the true salvation then nobody can shake us sometimes we wonder why these saints now today we celebrate the the feast of uh, blessed dennis and redemptus why this saint so joyfully offered their life for christ not that they committed suicide no they did not say you kill me so that i may go to heaven nothing of that sort they they wanted to live for christ but people killed them who were ungodly and they were ready for that because they have realized who they are they are not just the the photo that pictures that we have shown here this is not the, the whole thing that what they are their true life is the in the life of christ that they have deep within that is what their life was that's why they were ready to die for us what happens when there is no fan here there is when there is no fan when our body gets little heated up warm we feel uncomfortable we move around can't bear this suffering this is hot, very hot this sunlight is too hot now we are at the surface level only and we feel so uncomfortable <laughs> you know that is what it happens when we focus on now i'm, I'm now don't feel bad because some of you may be uh, fanning yourself or i'm not referring to this even i when there is a fan in the church i put ask the sacristan to put it on uh, so this is normal human beings that we are but if there is no fan i don't complain but if there is a fan i ask him to put on because the fan is put there keep kept there just for us only when there is no fan don't complain when there is hot sun you don't complain when there is no hot sun you be comfortable when there is hot sun also let us be comfortable that is this is what our life has to be when we have focused on god if we not focus so much on our body not so focus so much on our comfort 
the will of God is focused on. So when the person goes deeper into the rocky soil with the faith, that person realizes all these things are like St. Paul. All these things he says, I consider as dust. In Konkan, it is, I, I like that expression. Mati, chikol. Chikol. Dust is, anything can be called as dust. But chikol is what we want, don't want to put our leg in or feet in, you know. That sort of life, he says, when I find Christ. My life is Christ. This is what these saints have done. And we all are called to be blessed in the... Uh, in the after Alleluia, what we have what we have read here is after the psalm, we are if you are reproached for the name of Christ, count yourself blessed. So we all can count ourselves as blessed. That is the that is the wonderful you know opportunity, and then we are called for that part of life. You all can be not only uh, Dennis and them to be called blessed, we are also called blessed. Jesus in his um, Beatitudes tells us all these, people, all these people will be blessed. So my dear sisters and brothers, let us thank God as we praise God for these two saints. Let us thank God for our faith. The faith brought us here. Even though we may have, might have planned, but it is the will of God that we should be here. On my diary, I have written 29th December when Father Marlon told me. I wrote there 25th, 29th December to come here for Mass. But two, three days before when he sent a message saying it is 29th November, I checked immediately my diary and fortunately, luckily, there was nothing uh, at this time. And only 9.30, somebody is uh, coming, some marriage couple, marriage couple. So may God made it possible for me also to come. Last year I wanted to come, Father Sylvester called me and I wanted to come and then I could not come because of cold and this thing. So let us thank God that he made, us possi made it possible for us to be here in this blessed holy place. And let us focus on our faith life going deeper. How much deep did I go now? I have been 50, 60 years maybe. This summer is still young. But still we can think about how deep have, we, have I gone in my faith. So faith, seed, faith from faith, then when faith suffers, the suffering level is the top level. Suffering is not ultimate. Suffering is only at the top level. Then when we go deeper, after suffering only we go deeper. There is endurance. There is tolerance. With the help of God, we endure all the things. Then there is peace of mind and heart. People are not at peace, not because they are not called for, not because God is not giving them peace. Because they are only focusing on at the top level. You cannot find peace at the top. You will get disturbed. All this mud will be from here to there. There will be the... They keep on pushing. People will push it. Faith cannot be remaining there and be at peace. You have to go deeper. Deeper and deeper. Till we find Christ. Till we find the rock. So my dear sisters and brothers, let us thank God for this gift and let us ask the Lord to help us to go be rooted in Christ and then find our own salvation and help others to come to Christ. Kindly rise. Now we will have prayers of the faithful. Be faithful unto death, says the Lord, and I will give you the crown of life. Trusting in his promise, let us put before him all our petitions.
for the Pope, bishops, priests, and all the religious, that they may be filled with the knowledge, excellence, and the spirit of the Lord to guide his people. We pray to the Lord. That the words, Jesus is my help and my shield, whom shall I fear, may ring in the ears of those who are persecuted for the cause of justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For the wisdom, enlightenment and understanding that all the people of God may experience the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For all the Carmelite missionaries who are guiding and helping others spiritually, mentally and physically, that they may have the grace to understand the mind of the people they help. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For each one of us who are gathered here, that all fears and worries may be removed and that we may be able to realize the life-giving presence of Jesus in our lives, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Father, trusting in you and depending on you, may we be always ready for any challenges that come upon our way. Help us never to turn our backs while we face setbacks in the mission that you have entrusted to us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. day of joy on this day of hope we come to you in love O Lord on this day of joy on this day of hope we come to you in love with this bread and wine we come to this Eucharistic feast on this day of joy Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Lord, at this celebration of the Eucharist, we honor the sufferings and death of your martyrs, blessed Dennis and Redemptors. In offering this sacrifice, may we proclaim the death of your Son who gave these martyrs courage, not only by his words, but also by the example of his own passion. For he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, Dennis and Redemptus, poured out like Christ to glorify your name 
shows forth your marvelous works and by and by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Give, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Blessed Dennis and Redemptus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, make away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, may we who eat at your holy table be inspired by the example of blessed Dennis and redeemed too. May we keep before us the loving sacrifice of your Son and come to the unending peace of your kingdom. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Sid, I stand before you to thank God for this day, for having brought us together to celebrate this Holy Eucharist on the feast day of Blessed Dennis and Redemptus. I wish to take this opportunity thanking the parish priest of Cathedral 
Father Rosario Oliveira. We agreed to come and celebrate this Eucharist. As I said, during our, at the end of the homily last year, he was invited. Then he had severe cold. This year we invited him again, and he willingly accepted to come. Thank you, Father, for breaking the word, especially for coming and being here, the main presider for this Eucharist, for taking this time. He has an appointment at 9.30. He has, by 8 o'clock he was here. So we thank you, Father, very much. Shows your love for us and willingness to come and share in this celebration. I wish to thank Mr. Glenn Cabral. He is a great help for us, the Carmelites, for having helped us in so many ways, getting things to the Panchayat. With his help, we also could prepare the shade. The Panchayat members who helped us were Sandra Gonsalves, Viswas Kuteka, who we were trying to get the electricity power supply here. And they are the ones who put forward this application and they agreed they allowed to grant us power supply electricity here. Also for bush cutting, a lot of bushes were around. This Panchat members have really helped us because it was Glen. Behind all this is Glen. We can't say how much we appreciate his commitment in taking care of this place. Along also Marshall is not here. He also comes time and again. We also have a Christian community around, also sometimes come to pray here. We thank them very much. Their presence is really our joy. We thank Mrs. Rochelle Hurtado. She is the musician, our training our brothers, teaching our brothers music. She has come all the way from Shinshini with her husband also, Cloyd. We thank them for their commitment. We thank our, both the communities of brothers, postulants and the Mapsa brothers came here to keep things and keep the things you know, doing a lot of work here. One whole day they were here around. Thank them for this. Thank the fathers for the initiative. We thank all those priests who have come here from all our communities. We thank the Cloister Sisters, the extern Sisters of Cloister Carmel from Chikali, who represent the sisters. They cannot come. We thank the Herald as well as this video. They are re recording this Mass. Thank you for doing this. It's really bringing to life to show that this place is a holy place, a place where we have received some blessed people other than unknown, but surely they must have given their lives. Holiness is sure found for which they gave their commitment. We thank also Andrea, Adrian Antau for the snacks. We thank all of you who are here. Thank the bus drivers. We thank the all. We have one way or the other. I hear Brian also came last year, Brian from Chimbel. So thank you, Brian. You also, I know Father Anthony speaks about you helping us also. So and all those who are one way or the other, without forgetting anybody, all of you who are here and all those who are not here, we thank each and every one. God bless you all and very happy feast day. I make my own the sentiments expressed by Father Malin. Uh, and wish you all, the Carmelite communities of uh, both the community, three, all three communities here, one from Margaon, two from Mapsa, and all the, uh, and clearly also four communities in Goa. So it is good to uh, to see that there are four communities in in Goa. Uh, I have I have connection with the Carmelites because I did my orientation course in, uh, in Shini, uh, and then my PUC, first and second PUC in Madantya, Ashadipa, um, way back in the, in the 90s, uh, early 90s, 89, 90s. And then that is God's way, that I, I, I went in a different direction. And then I'm here, back with the Carmelites. Uh, the holy priest here, the, their spirituality is very much, I appreciate very much, even though I am a diocesan priest. For years, they used to call me also Carmelites. Even, I'm 23 years old priest now, 24th year. So they used to still call me Carmelite uh, <laughs> because I had connections with the Carmelites. I, I, was, I used to feel happy about that. 
So when somebody calls you blessed, be as you are happy. So also I used to be happy when somebody calls me, used to call me karma like. Uh, so I I wish all the Carmelite fathers, the brothers and the sisters a very happy feast uh, of these two great blessed people, uh, Dennis and Redemptus. I'm also, I feel so nice to be here in this place. John Marshall used to often tell me, Father, we'll go one day, we'll see the place, the Carmelite. And I used to always tell him, no, I'll come for Mass only. Last year I was supposed to come here for Mass, it's not possible. Then this year, God made it possible for me because the appointment that I have, the people will wait. They are our people only. That is not a big thing about them. Uh, so thank you for having patience with me for extending this Eucharist for a little longer time maybe. It is good that we also little suffer <laughs> in the hot sun <laughs> uh, so that we experience little bit of their suffering. They suffered in the fire <laughs> like you know such burning furnace and we are suffering also a little bit of this sun and uh, so we join our suffering to theirs for the greater glory of God. Uh, thank you Father Marlon for uh, Superior of Marga for inviting me for this Eucharist. Kindly rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
Hello, one word of 